From smog to fog, Los Angeles to Langtree Oval. AFL Riverina is on the road again, and Mara is where we catch up with two of the American athletes who have joined Tamora. In our 4th of July special, we caught up with them to find out how they're finding life in Australia. Did you ever imagine you'd be spending an American Independence Day uh, playing footy in Tamora? No, nah, it's the last thing on my mind. Uh, never thought I'd be out in Australia playing footy on the 4th of July. It's, that's firecracker day. Me and the family definitely be barbecuing, uh, popping firecrackers and stuff like that. Yeah, so family time. I mean, we love being here. Quite different from being at home, though. You know, being in L.A., that's a city and, you know, this is a country town, so, you know, it's way different. Oh, yeah, it's definitely a little different, um, different from L.A., different from what I'm used to, but uh, we're adjusting to it pretty well. It's a little cold out here today. L.A., you know, you got a good sunny day, but here uh, it's a little cold, but it's all right. Well known in the town. Uh, everybody always want to talk. Anywhere you go, you always get stopped. 15-, uh, 20-minute talks just with everybody at the store, uh, just walking down the main street. Just And so they take a lot of your time and just want to know about America and, how you like it here, and are you gonna stay, and all kind of things. People in the town have been great. Everybody notices us right away, and they uh, all get around us and stuff, so it's pretty good. It's the countryside, so we're just adjusting, and uh, it's pretty good in tomorrow. We love it. We've been to the farm, we've been farm life. We've seen uh, where they do the little piggery. Uh, they took us to see the little lamb, the sheep. Uh, we've been shooting, uh, they took us hunting. That was quite fun. Um, they took us uh, to the lake. I mean, there's really not much that you could do, but they showed us everything that they do have here. You know, I mean, they take us uh, when we first got here. They uh, showed us the town, and we just went up the street, and that was it. <laughs> so that was a little bit different. I'm like, that's it. Like, we just went up the street, and I was like, all right, let's go. Like that's it. I'm like, dang. So yeah, it's quite different. We were in uh, LA, and we got an invite to try out for the AFL and three contenders was left. It was me, Billy, and Carl, and we uh, all advanced over here to uh, Australia to give it a try in Port Melbourne. We went to Port Melbourne. Well, me and Carl went to Port Melbourne, and uh, Billy went to Sandringham, and uh, yeah, so things was, you know, went all right there, and then uh, we ended up here. You gotta do what you gotta do. You're chasing your dream, so, I mean, you gotta, you gotta um, sacrifice something, you know what I mean? So the most important thing that we miss about LA is, of course, family. I mean, the city, you can get that anywhere. You can go to Sydney or Melbourne. Right? So the most important thing is family. Oh yeah, it's way different from uh, football, basketball, things that we're used to because it's more like 360, the ball's coming from everywhere. Everybody's running around all wild and crazy, but uh, yeah, we're getting pretty used to the rules and stuff. Still making a few mistakes out there, but it's going pretty smooth. So far, so good. We made a lot of great friends here. You know, everybody is, uh, they always want to get around us. You know, we always talking about football. You know, they, they love to show us the game. We actually got into the AFL. We know the teams, and we uh, hang out a lot. After our home games, we uh, hang at the club, and, you know, everybody just having a talk and a drink and just, you know, for the whole night. So we definitely get around all the players. They're some great guys. Oh, yeah, every day before practice, uh, even on the off days, the guys are out there helping us, uh, trying to get us adjusted to the sport, you know, getting us more comfortable with it. The hardest things I'll say are, one, definitely is the endurance part. Uh, you do a lot more running in this than you would do in gridiron football. And um, kicking, of course, because uh, gridiron, we don't do too much kicking. So, yeah. You know you got to go in there and be a little feisty. You got to let them know that you're going to be there all game. Uh, every time I go, when I, I used to play in the back line, uh, every time I go down there, I have to let them know, like, you know, I'm from America, but, you know, I'm going to be here all day. It's your sport, but you know, I'm gonna be here all day. So you gotta make your presence known. And that's what I did when I was down the back line. I'm playing a little bit of the ruck now, so that's quite, that's quite different. You know, I'm all over the field now. Uh, you know, you got a lot of freedom playing the ruck and you just everywhere, so uh, I like it. Uh, in the back pocket, uh, earlier in the season, I was playing in the front pocket, but uh, mostly uh, I've been playing in the back pocket. Uh, he's going pretty good. Uh, he's doing real good in the back line. Uh, he catching on to the game. Uh, so, uh, I mean, we, we are very athletic, so, you know, and we are competitors. So even if we don't know what we're doing, we'll try our best to make sure that we still win that competition. You've worked out how much the Tamora footy team means to the town? Yeah, and they won three premierships back to back to back, and that's like unheard of. And, you know, they haven't won it in so long. So 
I mean, uh, footy and tomorrow is everything. You know, footy is life out here. So um, we definitely uh, keen to bring them a fourth uh, premiership, and uh, that's our goal. Oh, yeah, definitely. I know this is their pride and joy, so I take it serious when I'm out there on the field and uh, try to uh, make plays out there. Do you think uh, trying to explain your experiences here and what life's like here and what, like even just standing here for this sort of venue for a sporting game, is it impossible to explain that to people back home? Definitely is. You couldn't even explain it. You, they had to see this TV show for them to even understand what I'm talking about. Is you can't you can't explain Ozzy Rules to nobody. I mean, you can't even explain this venue to nobody. Like I'm sitting here looking at the game. Like they don't they wouldn't understand nothing. Like it'd be it'd be like a like I'm on another planet right now. Yeah, they wouldn't understand this. Uh, we uh, we try to describe it the best way we can because they they never seen it before. So we uh, send pictures and uh, videos to them and. Uh, they enjoy it. They're, they're proud of us.